And so, because the United States is, is a democracy, and as he says, China is uh, authoritarian or has authoritarian elements, you want a unipolar world where the super powerful military, because of the AI, is one that's a democracy. It's a much more complicated world geopolitically when you have two superpowers with super powerful AI and one is authoritarian. So that's the case he makes. And so we want to, uh, the United States wants to use export controls to slow down to make sure that, that uh, China can't do these gigantic uh, training runs that would be presumably required to build AGI. This is very abstract. I think this can be the goal of how some people describe export controls is this super powerful AI. There's, and you touched on the training run idea. There's not many worlds where China cannot train AI models. I think export controls are kneecapping the amount of compute or the density of compute that China can have. And if you think about the AI ecosystem right now, as all of these AI companies, revenue numbers are up and to the right. Their AI usage is just continuing to grow. More GPUs are going to inference. A large part of export controls, if they work, is just that the amount of AI that can be run in China is going to be much lower. So on the training side, DeepSeek V3 is a great example, which you have a very focused team that can still get to the frontier of AI. On this 2,000 GPUs, it's not that hard to get, all considering in the world. They're still going to have those GPUs. They're still going to be able to train models. But if there's going to be a huge market for AI, if you have strong export controls and you want to have 100,000 GPUs just serving the equivalent of ChatGPT clusters with good export controls, it also just makes it so that e AI can be used much less. I think that is a much easier goal to achieve than trying to debate on what AGI is. And if you have these extremely intelligent autonomous AIs and data centers, like those are the things that could be running in these GPU clusters in the United States, but not in China. To some extent, training a model does effectively nothing, right? Like yeah. right, have a model. <laughs> the, the thing that Dario is sort of speaking to is the implementation of that model once trained to then create huge economic growth, huge increases in military capabilities, huge capabil uh, increases in productivity of people, uh, betterment of lives, whatever, whatever you want to direct super powerful AI towards, you can, but that requires a significant amounts of compute, right? And so the US government has effectively said, um, and, and, and forever, right? Like tra training will always be a portion of the total compute. Uh